we have here the uh, function 1 over the square root of 9 minus x squared. So we've got two things going on here. We're, we're dividing, and we have a square root. So, uh, first of all, the thing that you're dividing by, which is the entire square root of 9 minus x squared, that thing cannot be 0, because we're not allowed to, to divide by 0. So now let's go ahead and square both sides, and we get 9 minus x squared cannot equal 0. Then let's go ahead and add an x squared over. We get 9 not equal to x squared. And then we take the square root. And every time you introduce a square root, you get a plus or minus. The square root of 9 is 3, and of course, x. So we get x cannot equal positive 3 or negative 3. Next, we have doing the square root of 9 minus x squared. So that thing underneath the square root has to be greater than or equal to 0. Now, I'm going to go ahead and cut out the equal 0 because I already know it's not allowed to equal 0. So I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of that for this problem because it was in the denominator. All right, so now we need to work with solving this inequality. There's, there's multiple ways to go about doing this. I am going to just add the x squared over. I've got 9 greater than x squared. And this is where it gets, it gets kind of iffy, all right? When you do a square root, it is, um, first of all, I'm going to flip this around just as x squared less than 9 because we're usually kind of used to the variable on the left side of the inequality. Not always, but. Um, then we want to take the square root. And when you do a square root um, to an inequality, it, uh, it kind of splits into two things, all right? I'm going to go ahead and split split. First of all, you take the square root, and for the, uh, the principal square root, which is the positive one of this, you keep this, the order of the inequality. So that's x is less than 3. But then, of course, the square root of 9 could also be negative 3, okay? And so when you have that, you use the negative square root, you flip the inequality. So we'd have x greater than negative 3. Okay, so we get both of these conditions from that inequality. So uh, that's, our, that's our restriction on our domain. We already cut out the positive 3 and the negative 3 because this was, of course, not equal to 0. And uh, so we get for our domain, domain uh, from negative 3 up to 3. And if both of those are parentheses because we're not allowed to equal positive 3 or negative 3, otherwise we would be dividing by 0.